Hey, this is a crafty chick, and I just wanted to show you what came in today's Stampin' Up! Happy Mail. Okay, so first, got these tassels, and these are on sale right now. Go to my site and click on clearance, and you can find these for a fraction of the price. They are just called mini tassels. They're silver and black. And some Wink of Stella. This is regular. And we also have gold. So that's pretty cool. Same price. Actually, this is less than what I paid at a large department store, or craft store, rather. Watercolor pencils. This is what uh, one of my customers ordered. I love these. I use these on so many projects. You know, it's these aren't just pencils. They're called watercolor pencils because after you color them, if you want this to look uh, like watercolor but you don't have any paint, you just add tiny, tiny bit of water with a damp brush and it turns into watercolor. So cool. I'll have to show you how those work. Oh, these are cute. Party animal embellishments. These are also on clearance. Um, I can't open them because it client ordered these, but definitely cute. Um, look on the clearance list. They are little party favors. Um, balloons. Let's see. Can we see them? Um, oh, hats. Stuff like that. And they're metal, as you can hear. They're pretty significant. Tear and tape adhesive. This stuff is great. It really bonds well, and you don't need scissors to cut it. And when you tear it off, it doesn't stretch or tear at an odd angle. You can just rip it easy, and it rips clean. And liquid multi-glue Tombow. Hey, if you have a problem with your glimmery paper or glitter, paper sticking to anything in a in one of your crafting projects because I love to use glittery things the glittery er the better <laughs> and I can't find anything that works this works trust me you can get that through Stampin' Up too okay now oh birthday banners this one's mine um, I've had my eye on this one for a while. Um, I actually do have a machine, a cutting machine, but I just couldn't get this effect without a stamp. So this is almost pretty much what I bought it for. And this. So my next move, I think, is to go ahead and get the um, banner punch to go with it. So... Awesome. And then uh, let's go to the stamps and then we'll go to the paper. I mean the ink. So real red. Got that for Christmas. Yes, yes, yes. I have a nice green, but I needed a red. And this is what one of my customers got. And these names make me hungry. Chocolate chip and pumpkin pie. These are perfect for autumn and Christmas. I mean autumn and Halloween. Oh. Those, I love the names of those, but they make me hungry. And speaking of Christmas, yay, there's some Christmas um, washi tape. Um, this particular one is also on the clearance list. So if you want to see what it looks like, those are the designs. And I'm not going to open this right now because I have someone I'm going to give that to. And one of my customers also ordered this. This is the Dijon, delightful Dijon. Um, paper, haha, <laughs> cardstock, yeah. And the cardstock is pretty thick. I don't know the exact weight I can ask, but it feels like 120 to me, at least, at the very least. This is sturdy cardstock. Nice. And this is Cupcakes and Carousels. 
This is my all-time favorite paper. I don't know why, but I just love it. So it's double-sided and it's very fun. I love to use this on not just birthdays, but any cards. And this is really good if you like to do um, shabby chic. This is really great paper. So yeah, and then like I said, it's double-sided so you can mix and match, which is the whole theme of Stampin' Up! Mix and match and build. So absolutely. Oh, I love those little carousel horses and it's so old-fashioned. I love that. Those are good. And um, by the way, they're paper stacks, sturdy paper. This has got to be 80 weight. Definitely more than 60. It doesn't say, but pretty significant. Um, this one, Sending Love Designer Series Paper. I believe this one is also on clearance. Not sure. Yeah, it is. And I believe the carousels are as, as well. Are they? Yeah. So this again is double sided paper. One side, of course, is bold, the other one is less bold. Love that. That's my favorite too. Somebody gave me a sample of these and had to have it. That's what happens. You get a sample and it's like any other kind of addiction. Oh, here's a free sample. Yes, now I must have it. <laughs> That's how I got into stamping and stamping up. Uh, here's the Eastern Beauty one of my customers bought with the matching dies and um, Check out my video on that one. I have that set as well as all the paper that goes with it. Um, I did do a box opening on the Eastern Beauty bundle as well. So you can look at that video. So this is dun, 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 Fancy Frost Specialty. These are on clearance too, guys. So these are 12 by 12 papers. Very thick. And I wish you could see. Maybe I can put my light down. Is that better? Hmm, let's get up real close. There, now you can see. It's, it comes pre-embossed. Hey, that is not the lazy way. People would say, oh, that's, that's lazy. No, I call it efficient because I don't want to have... A, sometimes when you emboss a large piece of paper, like a 12 by 12, it's really hard to line it up. Come on. Let's see, there it is. It's really hard to line up if it's a small embossing folder. It's hard to do it across a large piece of paper. So for certain projects, I like to have pre-embossed paper. Also, if I'm in a hurry and I want something to really pop, um, I can either do my watercolor pencils over this or take a little dauber and the ink and rub over it, instant background, and just pop a few things on it and you have a quick card in case you run out of time. But if you're anything like me, you've got like a hundred cards just waiting to be passed out, just waiting. All right, this is Sending Love Glassine Sheets. Now I opened it so I could pull it back and show you, isn't that lovely? You could put that on top of anything and just change your entire project. I believe they all, yep, they all have the same design, but they're this long. They're pretty long here. So you could cut this in probably in half or in probably thirds. I would cut it in thirds based on card sizes. And um, yeah, so you one and two, and then you would have, so three, it comes with, 10 sheets, so you cut them, you've got 30 sheets. And I think it's a couple dollars, it's on the clearance. So yeah, that is great. Oh, and this is mine. Uh, this is some Christmas paper, also on the clearance rack right now. So get it before it goes. Um, let's open this. For some reason, I did not open this. Here's a trick I use to open it is I have this, but I use it 
against the back cardboard and just ever so lightly go across and then you can just kind of rub on it and it opens real easy and it never tears your paper and then you have a little bit of an opening that has a flap so you can always close it later and protect your paper. Use a piece of washi tape to keep it closed it's so it's a homemade flap. Look at that double-sided. Oh, isn't this nice? That one has stars. Nice pine cones. Ooh, I like this one. Bows. Ooh, I like this one. Both of these, too. This one with the trees. More pine cones. That's like a solid pattern. And some bells. What's on the back of this one? Missile, not mistletoe, holly, holly. And it goes on. So you get two of each. And these are 12 by 12. And this was also a couple dollars, so why not? Okay, what else? Ooh, I forgot. So <clears throat> this, the fine tip glue pen. If you have small little doodads and you want to glue them, but you don't want glue everywhere because you're doing, say, especially if you're doing a crop or, I'm sorry, a swap, a crop a swap. Um, you're doing a swap and everybody's had this problem at one time or another and some people are dealing with this right now. This is your best friend if you want to prevent, can we get a close up please? If you want to prevent, um, getting glue, sticky glue, all over your cards, okay? Look how fine of a tip that is. Ooh, let's see if I can get that in there. Come on. Sometimes the close-up thingy works and sometimes it doesn't, especially when I'm moving my hand. It looks like a shadow. Holy cannoli. Anyway, you can see it. Oh my, this is ridiculous. Come on. So also, it comes with a needle inside the tip. Whew, that worked. Sorry, I'm trying to find my spot. Yay! Now if we can do that and just tip it a little bit. Anyway, um, it doesn't help that I'm looking through my reading glasses as well. So you just, boop, it comes out so lightly. Here, let's try it on this piece of paper. This is one of my favorite Stampin' Up! products. I'm not going to lie. Ooh. Oh, I have to take off the cover. Uh, ah, that way it doesn't get glue all over your projects. And shipping. Okay. Now we're going to try it. Doo -doo -doo. Shake it up a little bit. So... Look at how nice. I pushed really, really hard on that. And that came out a lot. So you just barely touch. Look at that nice fine line. I don't know if you can even see it. There it is. Right there. It's so small you can't even see it. And this little cap here goes right inside there on the other side. See that? Keeps it from... Let's see, does it go in there? Yeah. Okay, it goes... Okay, let's see if we can do this close up. It goes right in there. See how easy that is? And then it doesn't get glopped up. So on my old one, I had to keep a pin in there and move it around to unclog the glue. This will not clog. You can just open it up an hour later and take it out. This pin right here will keep it from clogging. I love this product. And if I can see with uh, bad vision, cataracts, and uh, <clears throat> all that, to put this in that quickly, almost anybody can. I am not coordinated. I'll be the first one to say that, and I say it often. So people understand that this is what I do 
not difficult. Anybody could do it. Um, anyway, so, yes, and I forgot mini glue dots. Uh, I didn't ever like using glue dots. So I liked them so little, I ended up going through a whole box in three weeks because I was doing major crafting swaps. So I had to buy two more. Love these, love these, love these. I didn't like the ones from the stores, which I won't name. Two major craft stores. Didn't like their brand. They were hard and thick and you could see them underneath my paper. It left like a little mound under the paper. So it was like a ripple. You could see where the glue dots were. These don't do that. These are smaller, uh, thinner, but they also stick better than the fat ones. And they go on very easy. So love these. And I got, yay, I don't know. I think I showed you this in the other one, but I'm so proud of it. It is my lemon punch to go with my lemon lime. Where is it? Lemon zest. And then you get your... Uh, you can use old ivy and I have some lemon lime stamp ink. Where are you? Well, yeah, I'm looking through all my inks for this. It's here somewhere, anyway. I know it's here. Here it is. Lemon Lime Twist goes with this and this, and then of course the Lemon Lime Twist paper. And this goes along with it. So if you just buy these, and oh, awesome. You are gonna have so much fun. So um, actually I'm going to do a video today, putting some cards together using these stamps. So, yeah, I've learned that I have to do the video when I'm making the stamps first thing or um, I never get around to making the video. I make the cards and then I don't have time to make the video. So uh, it's not going to be pretty. It's well, it'll be real, unedited, and you either like it or you don't. If you don't. I guess you can watch somebody else's video. If you like it, stay tuned because I'm going to post it in a couple of hours. All right, guys. Thanks. Happy crafting. And thank you once again for watching my channel. I really appreciate it.